Hello and welcome to Insight, I'm Antoine Nguyen Lee. Flower export is an industry worth over $20 billion worldwide. It's an industry that has been cornered by the European market for years, but now it has shifted to Africa, especially Ethiopia, where the climate is better for growing and labor cost is less. The flower business in Ethiopia is young, but pulls in over $200 million in export, making Ethiopia the second largest producer of flowers in Africa. Stay with us for a closer look at the flower business in Ethiopia. Insight is brought to you by our proud partners. Coca-Cola, open happiness. St. George Beer, the first Ethiopian beer since 1922. Today's program is brought to you by Ethiopian Horticulture Producer Export Association. From the earliest times and throughout the history of civilization, people from around the world have held the roles close to their hearts. In Greek mythology, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, is said to have created the rose from her tears and the blood of her lover Adonis. The Romans, turning Aphrodite into their goddess Venus, adopted the rose, and it then became the symbol of love and beauty. It was even said that Cleopatra had her living quarters filled with rose petals, so that when her lover Mark Antony met her, he would always remember her by the fragrance of a rose. During the 17th century, roses were in such high demand that royalty considered it as legal tender. It was also used as barter for payments. Today, the rose still holds its value and contributes to the fast-growing floral industry worth over $24 billion worldwide. The center of flower production has been near the largest consumers, Japan, Western Europe, and North America. But now, the focus has shifted to Africa, where the climate is better and production and labor costs are much lower. Next to Kenya, Ethiopia is now one of the major players in flower production and export. The flower business in Ethiopia is relatively young, but the market is booming. With an export revenue over $260 million, Ethiopia is the second largest producer of flowers in Africa. The flower business for Ethiopia, it is not traditional business. It just started a few years back. And it's becoming very important. Oh, we send it to the Central Europe and also to Russia. That is auctioned there and distributed. So it has now become very important business.
Starting out with just open field flowers, Sege Ababa was the pioneer in Ethiopia's flower business. I start with uh, open field flowers or summer flowers, which is called like status four colors, allium from the onion bulb, like gypsophilia, cartamus, dill, amimages. This was some of the flower variety I was growing outside, which is not in the greenhouse. So the first export was then 9394 out of Ethiopia. And then in 95, the government of Ethiopia and the European Union had uh, a joint uh, uh, office to help the private export exporters like me. Until 2000, there was only three farmers. Then we were trying to establish association. The government wanted an organized group to help. Our late prime minister was the one who was really taking initiative to support these three farms, to make them 300, to make them hundreds. That was his dream. And then the bank loan, which was impossible to get because the banks were not aware of the flower production. So we tried to give them information about Kenyan industry, about Ecuador, about those countries which is before us. So experience was gained and then the foreign investors started to come. We started here uh, seven years ago in, uh, in ZY. Uh, currently we have uh, 38 hectares of flowers. We employ 1,200 people and uh, we are producing about uh, 100 million stems per, uh, per year. Uh, Ecuros is a typical family business. So we started this company with my, uh, yeah, with my parents and my brother. Uh, actually, we used to have a flower farm in Netherlands also. And uh, yeah, it's just a more uh, continuation of our flower farm in Netherlands. We already know if we want to continue uh, to grow roses, uh, we have to, uh, yeah, to go outside of Netherlands and to go to, uh, to Africa. So we have been in Kenya, we've been in Ethiopia. In the end, we have decided to start in Ethiopia. Uh, first of all, we like the atmosphere here, uh, safe atmosphere. Uh, people are more uh, moderate, quiet. Um, um, yeah, also uh, the general behavior of the Ethiopians. Uh, we like it. Uh, proud people. Uh, but also people who really like to yeah, to work and, and to go for something. About ten years ago, Ole started to invest uh, the company in Kenya because Kenya was already a, a rose producing country, let's say. And then also, uh, seven, eight years ago, Ethiopia came up as a country of, uh, of, of growing roses, producing flowers, let's say, in general. So since we had the company in Kenya, it was relatively easy to also come and visit Ethiopia, getting to know Ethiopia, see the potential of the market of Ethiopia. And basically, seven, eight years ago, we also decided to start a company in Ethiopia, because we saw the potential of, of, of Ethiopia as well as, as we saw it in Kenya. Let's say. We're actually the first rose breeder in Ethiopia. Yeah. So we actually decided to start breeding roses in Ethiopia because then we can breed them in, in the locals, con, under the local condition, you know, um, with the local climate and the local circumstances. And we see the first results now of that. Now after breeding, when you have developed the new variety, a grower wants to plant them, he needs plants, you know. So that's the propagation part. So we can also supply uh, plants to the different growers in Ethiopia. Uh, and then obviously the production starts and you have to export your flowers. Abru Katima has worked at Olay Farms for five years. She says her life has changed. <laughs> Uh, 
ተሰው ጋራ ወጥቼ ሳራለው ከሰው ጋራ ምን ለማህበራዊ ጉዳይ እንደፈለገኝ ሆኘ ወጥቼ ገባለሁ እሺ ሰው ጃታይ ማለት ነው ደድከ ፍላርሲስ ፕራይቬት ሊሚቴድ ኮምፓኒ ኢት ዋዝ ስታብሊሽድ ኢን ዘ ኢየር 2006 ኤንድ ስታርት ኤክስፖርቲንግ ኢን ዘ ኢየር 2008 ኦልሞስት ናው ኢት ኢዝ ኦን ኢትስ 6 ኢየር and among one of the best farmers in Ethiopia country generates from this industry alone over 200 million US dollars per year of foreign currency and the uh, industry provides uh, employment of uh, over 85000 of Ethiopian workers the economic uh, impact uh, <coughs> is actually multidimensional i can say one aspect uh, uh, we are not all see only appreciating the amount of exports that we are earning but our main interest is also to create employment opportunity for our citizens i would say at this moment in the world if you look at big produ production areas in the world there's let's say holland europe holland let's say which is a very important producer of, of roses and flowers still There is um, in South America there is Ecuador and Colombia which are producing a lot of roses for the international market and in Africa there is Kenya and Ethiopia. So basically Ethiopia belongs at this moment already to the top 5 producing countries of the world. Ethiopia in particular Africa in general is different than the European climate. In Europe you produce most of the production of flowers, vegetable fruits under glass house with high energy cost. in Ethiopia or in other african countries especially in Ethiopia the weather is very nice it's called the country of 30 months of sunshine even when you have rain after one hour of rain you have nine hour of sunshine ethiopia is really different in climate we never use energy to heat our greenhouse or to cool our greenhouses naturally this is the right uh, uh, location to produce horticulture or agricultural products. We have been providing or we are channeling all our products to the Netherlands still that's the leading market but now we have extended beyond now the Netherlands market because Ethiopian flower has become familiar now we have gone as far as Japan now uh, Russia is now becoming one of our uh, target windows for our marketing and uh, still uh, of course we have already started even though it is very small amount to across the atlantic to the usa uh, of course the, the the mediterranean countries as well are, are one of our um, marketing places these days the export revenue on the average we are earning uh, over 250 million uh, dollars a year on the average so this is a big amount as starters in this industry compared to our neighbor countries uh, Kenya which they have been over 30 years now we only 5 6 years through really diversifying and extending our arms to different markets because we have already built our image Ethiopia really picture uh, flowers are becoming famous throughout the world there's very few countries on the equator or close to the equator which also have altitudes 
You know, in, in Asia, you could say the equator runs through Indonesia, but you don't have these altitudes, so it's very difficult to grow roses over there, although it's also on the equator. So basically, in my opinion, in the long term, the countries where roses are going to be grown in the, in the mid and long term will be still Ethiopia, Kenya, Colombia and Ecuador. You know, I think those countries will be the surviving countries in, in the rose producing world. With a fast and reliable operation, Ethiopian cargo flies out more than 3 million flowers a day. Ethiopian Airlines can confidently say today that it has brought the horticultural in, uh, export industry to this level because a few years ago, as you know, uh, uh, it was very small industry. We're exporting about 180 tons a day, every single day, to Europe mainly, and a small quantity to Asia. Uh, and uh, of late also have started uh, exporting to the US. So this is like uh, 5,400 uh, uh, tons a month. We've been working together with the industry to make sure that at any point in time there is enough available transport capacity for the industry. So as a result, of this alignment in strategy uh, as a national strategy. Today we have brought it together uh, to this level. Today I think we are the second in Africa in the export of flour uh, next to Kenya. As you know Kenya has been in this business for quite a long period of time. But Ethiopia now within a short period of time we have already uh, reached the second stage and uh, you will be surprised in a very short period of time we will be surpassing Kenya. Ethiopia is known for its drought and for disaster, in fact. Uh, but people will not assume that Ethiopia could produce such a high-quality flower. This has changed our uh, uh, socio-economic uh, situation. This has changed that uh, big investors now coming to uh, textile and other things are because of this because uh, this has been uh, a selling point, telling that uh, Ethiopia is uh, uh, really a country where many things can grow. It's almost one of our good ambassadors that almost expresses the image of the country for other world, because we are producing a quality flower, and that flower will be delivered to different countries of Europe and the Middle East, so that they will uh, be happy with our product and that will change and their uh, mental uh, attitude that they were having before that the country was uh, famined and uh, very poor now that we, we we have changed that dark history This concludes our program. I'm Antoine Linley, and from all of us from Insight, thanks for watching.